In the shop search tool, you also have the manual option. So this is where if you have um, basically a list of product or shops, shop links, you can paste them in here. For example, this is what shop links look like. They got Etsy.com, sometimes they have a country uh, thing there, then shop and then a the shop name. So if you have like uh, links from some other software or some other source, you can just put them in here and go extract data. And I'll quickly go out and grab all that awesome data for each and every one of those shops you can quickly do some more research on. Now I do want to show you this content extractor, um, link extractor. This is the same thing as we had in the product search, but it's for the shop. So check this out. So if you go here, let's just clear this out here. Inside here, we can, as long as you put any content in here that contains shop links, then you can actually get that data. So let me show you how to do that a couple different ways. So on Etsy, let me show you here. Let's like say you just go to Etsy.com and let's say we wanna search for uh, Forged. And you can see at the very bottom that they offer this option here, find the shop names. So, and in here, let's say for example, you wanted to examine all of these shops. So what you can do, you can go right click, view source, Again, select all with the control A, right click and copy and go back over here and paste and hit extract links. It grabs all the shop links it found on that page. And now we can extract the data for what it found. Pretty cool. Another way to do that is like I showed in the other video, you can use a powerful search engine like Google. So you gotta remember the actual format of what a link looks like. So that's what, a, what an Etsy shop link looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this part without the actual shop name and I'm just going to copy that control C on my keyboard. Go back to Google and I'm going to type the word in site colon. I'm just going to paste that here but I actually don't want this part. Let's take that part out of there. I just want xc.com forward slash shop and then another slash and I can do a space and let's just type in forged again. Another so I'm going to put double quotes around that because I'm telling Google, hey, look, I only want results from this site that will contain this exact link to the page. So I'm only interested in seeing shop links. That's what we're telling Google. And I only want to see shop links that are link are indexed in Google that have the word forged and they must have the word forged because I put double quotes around it. Let's go ahead and search that. And just like that, it pulled back 7,000 results. Pretty awesome, right? So we can just do the same thing here. Right click, view source, control A on my keyboard, control C on my keyboard, we'll copy it to my clipboard. If you're on a Mac, it's command A and command C. Go back over here, I'm just gonna oh, click content and I clear this out, and then paste, extract links, and just adds them over. Now there's 107, so I'm gonna go ahead and extract all of them. And you can see how incredibly fast it was to basically get all of the top Etsy shops out of Google, and now I can analyze all the data for each and every one of those shops just like that. And now, boom, I can go ahead and sort by the most valuable data that I need. For example, number of hearts, sales, reviews, very, very powerful. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.